Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate the LightPod NeoLaser by AeroLase. The unique feature of this technology, you've heard a lot about hair removal lasers. Dr. Battle talked about the pulse durations earlier, and the traditional ND 1064 laser operates in a pulse duration between 3 and 30 milliseconds. As he mentioned, this pulse duration is significantly reduced. It operates at 0.65 milliseconds, which is significantly less than traditional lasers. That allows the skin to cool off significantly in between pulses. Therefore, you have less collateral damage and you have more time for the heat to dissipate, if you will. By having less collateral damage, you can focus that impact and that power right on the target. You have less disruption or, if you will, thermal stress on the pigment cells and also on the nerve endings. So I have a patient here who has unwanted hair on her chin and underneath the chin. We're also going to treat her underarm, so if we can just take a quick look at her underarm. So again, before the treatment, we've had her prep by removing the underarm hair and the chin on the hair and the face and cleaning the area. Let's take a look at the laser for a second. We've talked a lot about hand pieces and utilizing different hand pieces. With the LightPot Neo Laser, you only need one hand piece. The modality that you will change, depending upon what procedure you're doing, is the lens, which screws off very easily, on and off very easily. Now, with hair removal, you will only need to use one lens, so there's no need to change the lens. I call this my workhorse. When we're choosing a laser for practices, we want to find something that can do as much work for us as possible. Um, we're going to focus on hair removal, but this laser technology can also treat inflammatory lesions, lesions such as acne, pseudofolliculitis barbae. It's also being developed modalities to treat onychomycosis, and there um, are published studies on that. And it also does non-ablative laser resurfacing very safely on all skin types, including very dark skin types. Today, we're going to focus on hair removal laser. Fran? Yes, ma'am. One thing I'm amazed at is the size of that Cheryl, device. Cheryl, I, I love it. Um, I'll tell a little story quickly. When I was starting my practice, I traveled between three offices, and I carried a very heavy laser between those offices. This laser packs up in this case. It's very light, very portable. Even if you just have one laser, you can easily roll it from room to room and it's very easy to use. So it, it really has been my workhorse. I do have other lasers in my practice, but this has been my workhorse and patients are very pleased with the results. We're going to start with this young lady and you know we haven't talked a lot about testing to the laser first and at one point I preached a lot about testing before treating. With this laser I found that I really did not have to do that because of this, these increased safety parameters. However, just to make sure that I have the ideal setting for the patient, I still do test the area. So instead of starting at the lower area or a middle area, I start at the area that their skin can really tolerate maximally. So I've already tested uh, Cheryl, and if we can just look at the laser for a second, there's not a lot of programming or anything that you need to learn. After you determine the setting by the test, I'm going to turn her up to a setting of, that's equivalent to 28 joules per centimeter squared, and we're going to start off by treating her chin and underneath her chin with the laser. The handpiece is also independent of distance, so we'll start with her chin. And you see it moves very fast on the area. There is no need to overlap pulses. And remember, because there's no thermal stress on the nerve endings, there is no pain that she's feeling turn to me. So we'll treat the other side of her chin. Again, there's no need to overlap and there's no need for cooling. 
and no gel. And no need for gel. So I'm gonna have her raise her underarm. So Cheryl, I've almost treated two thirds of her underarm already. How many sessions do you generally have to do with this device? It's pretty equivalent to the other laser treatments. Um, it really depends on, you know, just as with all the other laser modalities, how thick the hair is, how dark the hair is. Um, you know, anywhere from four to six treatments. Some people only need two or three, depending what settings we use. So we have completed um, this axilla. So with this laser, um, if we can look at the laser once again, the settings device is very simple. The hand piece is very simple and easy to use. Uh, as you see, the laser is very compact. Um, it allows us with the micropulse technology to deliver the pulse very fast and focus on that target. Therefore, you don't need to worry about collateral damage, pigmentation, cooling, um, pain with this particular laser. And um, patients are very happy with the results.